Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Real quickly, there is a message that we need to go get real quick, so let's go get that. Yeah, yeah, starvation. Starvation is imminent. Now, I'm pretty sure we still have to go get that. Life Pod Crew 3, but let's kind of open up what it says. Chat looks like blah 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 not to rescue without laser cutters you only add about it okay cool so that is another message so today what we're gonna be focusing on is mainly these life pods we're gonna go rescue or look at them and we're gonna kind of take a look at some of the data so we can kind of get a little bit of the story Welcome together to now Captain. I've been on Google I've read the entire story so I really kind of know it but I haven't actually gone into the data logs and kind of deciphered it myself. But, yeah, we're going to go to Life Pod Crew 3. And that is not far away. So what we're going to do, I don't think I have much power in my Cyclops. And I also am lagging. So what we're going to do, we're not going to take the Cyclops because we don't have much power. And it is not that far away. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the Seamoth with us. The Seamoth will do us Welcome just fine. Yeah, let's head towards Life Pod 3 and see what we can figure out. And yeah, it's only 400 meters away, so that is not that far away. And sorry for the lag. This game is quite visually, visually stunning. But we should be there in no time. So yeah. Hopefully the later part of this episode won't be too boring with about just reading the, the data logs, but it should give us some useful information about what we've gotten thus far. But we are pretty much here and of course everything looks like a slideshow, but that's fine. So let's see. What do we got? An abandoned PDA. Okay, we will read that later and see glide fragment. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much else in here. Okay, and I guess while we're here, we can... S Did I just drop it? I need that. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop it. Um, We'll scan this just for the titanium. But, yeah, that's pretty much all we needed. High capacity tank. Huh. That is something new. Okay, guys, I just realized something kind of big that <laughs> I, I don't know how I didn't realize this before. If we could maybe stop lagging out. These signals, I didn't realize w why the, like, the signal wasn't going away. That's just because those are the signals. So, my mind is blown. So, we will check out the other life pods. I really need to clean up my inventory a little bit, but here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to make some power cells to charge up the Cyclops, and we're going to take the Cyclops to these other life pods. Okay, guys, and we have another communication, so quickly, we're going to go pick that up. And I wonder which one it will be now. Oh, what will it be? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. These old Terra ships, they run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help? They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long-range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn Charter's gonna have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Darn. Okay. So that was an interesting message. Apparently Welcome the Aurora's the crashed and... It takes them to get here. Okay. Back to power cell making. Okay, guys. So, I have made some more power cells and I know it's loud in this room so hopefully you guys can still hear me but I made a couple just enough for us to kind of get going here and what I also did is equipped both 
uh, Life Pod 17 and Life Pod 4. And we're going to go there, pick up their PDAs, pick up whatever they have. And once again, we'll read all the data logs and stuff at the end of this episode. Yeah, I guess we'll go towards Life Pod 4 first. So I'm going to head that way. Okay, everybody. So we have made it to this Life Pod. And I'm pretty sure we already saw this one before. So I think we took the PDA. I'll go inside and check. But we have to be careful because I did see a Reaper running around here doing its thing. So we'll quickly hop in here. Um, let's see. We already took the data log. We already took the PDA. So yeah, we checked this one out. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. And I gotta stay away from that Reaper. I saw it like kind of like going through the ground at some points. So yeah, that's pretty scary. And this is four. So we could go take care of four. We got that one. Now we just need to go ahead and get to 17 which is in which direction gotta like turn it around okay it's a little bit i oh, am there's the reaper it's a little bit farther away so yeah i'm gonna get going okay guys we are at the life pod 17 now i'm not sure if i came to this one but i guess we can check it out there's some weird static going on I'm not liking it. I'm not able to get out of the Cyclops, so that's not cool either. Are you, okay, I was like, are you going to let me out, or am I just stuck in here? Okay, where is the thing? I lost it. Where is it? Oh, it's right under me. Okay. Let us see what is up. Did we already see this one also? We probably have. So we did get Life Pod 17 also. Anything around the sides? Okay, guys. So I guess we can just head back home for now and read some of the data logs. But I do want to build a communication system inside of here and the base. So once we go home, we will build those. Okay, guys. So we checked out all the signals that we have at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick the used signals in here for now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, real quickly, I'm going to make two of those communication things. The one put in our Cyclops and one to put in our base. So I'm going to get those materials together. Okay, so I think I have all the materials. Construction. Now, we do have a couple new things I should probably like kind of take a look at. But what we're looking for is the communication relay. And I guess we'll stick this bad boy right here. Bam. And we have another message. The life pod six. Okay. There we go. Now we need to go to number six. But before we'd head over to number six. And now we'll have a communication relay with us close at all times. We're going to build one more of those bad boys in here. But I need to get the communication. I forgot that one of my wiring kits, which is quite expensive because it's silver ore, there's not an abundance of that. We'll put this bad boy, I guess, right here. I guess that works out. Do we have another one? Life pod 19. Okay. Cool. And I guess we'll just keep getting more messages as we go along. So I was planning on reading data logs but we got another life pot to go to so well, yeah Lord, we'll read those Lord, later we got to get to these life pods so now we got two more signals 19 and 6 where are these boys at one's over there both of them are that way okay cool I guess that's where we're heading and by the way, guys, I'm pretty sure the reason we're getting all these life like pod messages so quick is because I have been ignoring them for quite a long time. So we are here at life pod six. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we already got this one. Yeah, it looks like we already got it because we got the data thingy and check out inside of here. Yeah, whoever was in here is. 100% dead so oh PDA I missed it bam life pod crew log number two ain't even a rapper okay 
Let's make sure we got everything. Yeah, that should be everything. All right, that is Life Pod 6. Now, we will make forth our way to Life Pod 17. Okay, guys, so this one seems to be a bit deep on the deeper end of the spectrum here. Okay, so I think it's down in that canyon. If it's not there, it's probably above. But yeah, let's... No, don't close that door. Let us go see what is up. If there's any monsters down here, well, I'm just kind of screwed. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Might as well pick up some, pick up some ore. Okay, so the life pod is here. Number 19. And I for sure haven't been to this one because I don't go down here. So let let us see what is up. PDA is right here. Life pod 19. Integrating new PDA data. Cool. Is there... Where is... There's usually some sort of information. There it is. What did we get? Plasteel tank. Okay, I don't know what that does. That's interesting. We do need to make it 30 back. Seconds. 30 seconds. Okay. I'm pretty sure that is all. So, we're going to run back. And what I'm actually going to do is stay here for a little bit and collect all this ore. It looks like we got another message, which is kind of cool. It's like, right now, I really need to not be lagging <laughs> or I'm going to miss. Okay, and I picked up a spade fish by accident. So, that's... Interesting, I guess. Let's check the communication. Life pod seven. Nice. Okay. So. Okay, I got really excited for a moment that we found the power cell charger, but no, we just found more of the battery charger and, of course, a little bit more lag as my game turns into a PowerPoint slide. And we got another signal. Okay, right now we just got the that one out. I got because I got to keep track of them now. CPU high are uh, from light pod uh, thirteen. His last note of the emissary Jokey Kasar. Okay. Carrying Mongolian emissary Jokey Kasar, life pod thirteen. I guess we're going there, guys. All right, let us get going. And again, I'm getting confused here. I'm not sure which life pods I've gone to. All right, everybody. So we are here at Jokey Kassar's life pod. Let's see what's up. I guess we'll pick up this creature egg. Ultra glide fins. Ooh, does that make us swim faster? And then let's go ahead and pick up the PDA. Bam. Okay, cool. There is Jokey Kassar's stuff. Now, if I would stop lagging, I would love to be able to look at my Cyclops. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. And again, we'll read all of these later. Let's go ahead towards the Aurora Rendezvous point. And that might be our last one for today. I'm not sure if I get another communication I might go to it or I might save them for maybe other episodes because we've already seen like six or seven today and again these are supposed to be spread out over the game but I'm just like doing them all at once so okay so we're back at this island this rendezvous point is quite a long ways okay so the rendezvous point is all the way down here and boop. Okay, what? Do we do anything here? Okay, we got another message. Nine new bios designated, blah, blah, blah. Okay, a lot of just other weird things. Okay, guys, so we have checked out a lot of places today. We went to Life Pod 4, Energy Pulse Origin, Life Pod 3, 17, 19, uh, another rendezvous point 13 7 and 6 so I'm pretty sure we went to all of those if I accidentally missed it tell me in the comments just in case but I'm pretty sure we went to all of them 
And yeah, I guess now we could do a little bit of reading. Now, let me... Okay, so let's kind of take a look at what we got here. We're looking at the data downloads, alien data. I don't think we really need any of that. Aurora Survivor. Let's take a... To all crews, if you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by the onboard computer. Okay, so it doesn't really say anything. We don't need the codes. Degazi Survivors, log one. Okay. So, the, their, Degasi, the ship was shot down. Spent days in the life. And I'm not going to read these out loud because these are very long. But I'll just kind of kind of go through it. Okay, so, yeah, they're pretty much just saying they got to stay alive. Log two. So, this person wants to go out in a storm and this person's telling them not to. Yeah, okay, then no one's coming. Okay, so they went out on a mission. And apparently I messed up badly this time. It's been two days since we're at, we should never left this island. I should have listened to them. We shouldn't have gone so deep. We're not wanted down there. They don't trust us. I knew it. I didn't say it. I could see it, and they couldn't. And now they're stuck down there, and I'm up here alone. I deserve this. So... Apparently, these guys went out and they were captured by something, which I'm guessing is the precursors. Okay. So that's pretty much what we've got for the, from that. Life pods. These are this is a, these are some crew logs. Let's, go, let's look, take a look at seven. I've tried everything. If we're working, I'd be watching this in a private resort. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, this dude is kind of stuck. Number seven. Had no power. Um, okay. And I guess we could go through these at a later time, too. Yeah. And honestly, I can't really get the story very out there because, again, these are just, like, scattered data logs. It'd be a lot better if you guys just kind of, like, Google the story because it's a lot easier on me and everybody else. But, yeah, hopefully I didn't miss any of the life pods. Okay, guys, so I just went through all of them. And, yes, we did check every single one. So that is pretty good. And, guys, we'll go into the story maybe another episode more in depth but for now we got all the life or we got a lot of the life pods and we kind of gathered the information so guys i enjoyed today hopefully you guys enjoyed watching if you did make sure to like and comment as a personal channel and i'll see you guys later god bless and goodbye